Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at some oddly terrifying things. This is the video where we look at some things that are odd and also a little bit terrifying, or very terrifying and a little bit odd. Let's do it! Guy finds thousands of scorpions in an abandoned house. Here's a quick little video clip of that to really make your skin crawl. Olha isso, gente. Meu Deus do céu, essa casa que eu achei aqui, cheia de escorpião. Me diz aí o que, que eu faço. Tá doido, velho. Tem escorpião demais. Olha só. Oh, oh. It's so gross. I've never seen so many scorpions in one place at one time. I didn't know they did that. I'll give you 10 bucks to roll around in it. All right, that's pretty cheap. Make it Fifteen dollars. Jump in and roll around in there. All right, twenty bucks if you eat like ten of them, and then jump in and roll around in there. Here's a little story I found on the oddly terrifying Reddit. I was hunting with my grandfather for my nineteenth birthday about a year ago, and we both watched a deer slam its head into a rock until its antlers and skull were shattered. Once its brains were everywhere, it tried to lick them up and looked like it couldn't even use its jaw or tongue right. So it just stood upright like a fucking human and just walked into the river and died. We left immediately and my granddad was fucking terrified. I haven't been near woods since and he moved to Florida with my grandmother for safety reasons. That's straight out of a horror film. I wouldn't go near the woods anymore either. Someone on Reddit though posted a comment underneath that kind of explained what happened here. The hell? So this isn't a fictionalized post? This stuff actually happens? Yeah, it's caused by a prion disease in deer. It's been spreading in recent years and makes them act like fucking zombies. It's terrifying. Fortunately, there hasn't been a case of it spreading to humans yet. I don't he means by a prion disease. I don't know if that was a typo or if I'm just not understanding what it is, but that is so scary. And if it spreads to humans, what? Is that just the start of the zombie apocalypse? Is that that's what's gonna happen? The deer are gonna get their revenge. Stop hunting them. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a wet owl. That's just oddly cute. Oddly adorable. I want to give it a hug until it starts pecking my eyes. Then I'll stop hugging it. But it's pretty cute, actually. I never thought about what an owl would look like wet, and now I know what it looks like. This is some sort of gigantic eagle species. Holy shit. That's terrifying. That thing looks like it wants to swallow my soul. Why is this man so calm and close to this bird? He's gonna die. Okay, so giant eagle bird versus wet owl. Who's gonna win? Hmm? I know you're like, oh, the, the giant eagle species is gonna win, but, you know, that wet owl might be a little wily. What if they're fighting in the dark? Huh? You gotta factor in a lot of things. Here's a woman who decided to run with her 360 camera in her mouth. It's not frightening. She looks like she's wearing a mask on the top of her face. It's creepy. I just wonder what the people watching her on the beach are thinking. Like, damn, that girl is crazy. A lot of people compare this to Attack on Titan, the anime. I've never really seen it, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll say that in this video and people will be like, oh shit, nailed it. So, or maybe I got it wrong, I don't know. She looks like a colossal woman wearing a mask on the top of her face, just crushing things on the beach. This is a type of animal called a sloth bear that are apparently very feared in India because of their unpredictability. <laughs> I thought sloths were supposed to be slow, okay? That thing is the most terrifying bear I've ever seen in my life. The sound it makes when it charges at you. It's enough to make you shit your pants. Could you imagine that thing with its creepy ass sloth claw coming at your face? Just imagine it. All right, what else we got here? Here's a men's and women's sign hung up at an establishment for the bathrooms. Why, because you want all the females in your establishment to be creeped out? They're basically like, hey, there's gonna be dudes watching you pee, just so you know. That's not a camera up there in the corner. No, 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 no. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. All the holes drilled in the walls are for aerating the bathroom. And if you see eyeballs in there, please just ignore them. Don't try to poke them with your fingers because that hurt me last time. I mean, that 
Never mind. What is a disturbing fact most people are unaware of? There's a reason people get ultrasounds rather than MRIs of their babies. It's kind of cool though. It looks like a freaky alien, but you're definitely getting a lot more details. Oh my god, that one is... Oh, that's the stuff of nightmares. That pixelated little freak face. Yeah, okay. It's because you want to love your child, so you don't get an MRI of your baby, or else you're just going to be like, I don't want it anymore. Here's a cat dressed up with a wig and a dress. It's a hairless cat, which makes it all the creepier. I just imagine someone treating this cat like their daughter, and now it's just like standing upright. It's frightening. It looks like a half human, half cat. Why are you dressing it up in a little wig? This cat is gonna claw your eyes out in your sleep. That cat doesn't want to wear a little wig with pigtails and a dress. It's just plotting your murder. It's a cat, man. Cats want to kill you. They all just want to kill us, okay? I know my cat's plotting my murder. Eventually in the middle of the night, it's gonna be trying to claw my throat out. I just, you have to accept it, okay? Cats are evil. Nah, actually my cat's pretty good, okay? I love that little fat boy. Decided to go for a walk on the beach and got freaked out when I thought I ran into a clan meeting. Turns out they're just closed beach umbrellas. That would scare the shit out of you. You know, if you didn't tell me they were umbrellas, I might have actually thought it was a clan meeting. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, here's a video of a baby burping machine. Just take your baby and then place them in with an arm going over each side. Now that the baby is in the correct position, just open up the app and tap the burp baby button. Okay, that baby had far too much puke in it. Maybe I'm just not burping my baby hard enough, okay? Maybe I gotta really slap it around. Is that product patent pending? Obviously this one is a joke, but it's still pretty creepy. It's, uh, yeah, that's a YouTuber thing. The, the name on the bottom if you wanna look them up, but it's pretty hilarious. And we'll just end with this one, which I'm not really sure how to explain. Just watch, I guess. I would play this VR game. I mean, I probably wouldn't play it that often because it looks frightening. No one wants Shrek running at you with that creepy ass smile. Maybe you could have just gone up and danced with him, okay? Maybe if you just busted a move, he would have respected you for it and not tried to chase you through what looks like a parking garage. What the hell am I looking at here? But again, I would play that VR game. It looks like a VR game. I'm not even sure if it is, but it looks like a lot of fun. There's not a lot out for VR that I enjoy, so. And I must say, Shrek's got some moves. Creepy ass Shrek has some moves. Anyway, there's some things that are odd and terrifying. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.